What's up, YouTube? My name is Speed, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown! And are you ready? Because today, we are trying out a substitute belly drum, Slackberry Charizard. Ooh, yeah. Got this really cool team from uh, Terimus, once again, from my Discord server, so thank you uh, very much. I'm really excited to... Uh, Try out this set, you don't really see it every day. So, uh, hopefully, um, we'll get some uh, action for it. Hmm. There we go, adjusted the music. What am I going to lead with? This is a really exciting team. Something I need to watch out is this uh, potentially Scarfed Zarud, because it will still be faster than Charizard at plus one speed. Hmm. Steelix has Stealth Rock. Why not? Let's lead with that. Togekiss. Hmm. Could have Flamethrower. I'm gonna go straight for the, um... Heavy Slam here. Boom! Ah. Not really a good trade-off, I don't think. Hmm. I don't get out my Stealth Rock. Does he have... Yeah, he could have Defog on this guy. I could still... I don't know. I kind of want to keep Steelix for the, uh... Circuitry and Raikou, so... You know, they can... Just spam electric type moves. Uh, I do have this Jellicent, so let's go into that. Burunger! Look, look at this guy and gets a crit. Um, I want to say it would have been a 3 hit KO otherwise, but I'm not sure. Maybe it would have done like 50. No, no way. 1.5 times his crit. So what is he going to... He can just Air Slash right here. Right? I guess I can try to go into Toxicity. But like... <laughs> and now he misses. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's faster. He probably is max speed and... Because he's all offensive so far. So let's uh, go ahead and Volt Switch out of here. This is specs, so should do decent little chunk. It does. I could go into Steelix to get some lefties. Could go into Zarud. Hmm. I'm not really liking my Steelix in this condition. I what I could do is go into Steelix, <laughs> get a little bit of leftovers, bait out the. Uh, I mean, it's probably going to be Scald. If it's Scald, it's great. If it's Aura Sphere... Like, uh, yeah, Scald is better than Aura Sphere, because I get some recovery out of here. Um, I don't know if he's choice, though. Do I want to pull a funky switch? But now my Jellicent is live, so I should try to save it. But what can I go into? I think I'll just go back into Toxicity. As he goes for the T-Bolt, so he's most likely, I'd say, Heavy Duty Boots. I could just go for Boom Burst. He's not gonna go into Chandelure. Or Sludge Bomb. The sludge Bomb hits... I mean, Sludge Bomb hits everything. But he has extra sensory. I see what you're doing. What am I doing? I'm thinking really hard. I guess I'll just have to go into, like, uh... Zarud here. He's got Aura Sphere. It's not gonna knock me out, I don't think. Power Whip, but if it misses, that's bad. I'll just go for the safe Darkest Lariat. I can take one Aura Sphere because he's not, like, Life Orb or... Doesn't have any sort of attack boosting item, so yeah, he's just gonna sack the Togekiss, which is great. I get rid of it. Togekiss is not gonna be able to wall me. Goes into Raboot. Haven't really seen this thing. Uh, can Jellicent like wall it? He's got Sucker Punch. Let's go for a good old uh, Strength Sap here. Get some uh, health back. 
There we go, all the way back to full health, so... Um, I do have the Culber Berry, so I might be able to take on Zeru, but then again, it could just, could just, uh, Power Whip. Um, but having Jellison back to full health is always good. So he's gonna T-Bolt here. I'm just gonna play aggressive going to Zarud. And if he does, for some reason, I don't even know if he has the Aura Sphere. He should. I think it's probably just four attacks Raikou. So, I'm just gonna go back into Zarud on the T-Bolt. There we go, he does go for it, gets a crit. Eh, that doesn't really matter. Um, Do I just want a Darkest Lariat here? I mean, it might actually matter, because... Yeah, the said Aura Sphere. I'm a Darkest Lariat here. Just get some guaranteed damage. He does have it. Thankfully, I do live, so the crit doesn't matter in this case. As he goes into his own Zarud. And he's gonna be free to U-turn. I think. Hmm. I do have Togekiss. Which is like the perfect switch. He didn't have his Togekiss because I was able to cripple it, so... Maybe the Steelix trade at the beginning of the game was a good move after all. Um... So now he can T-Bolt. Do I sack Steelix? Maybe I'll just sack Steelix. I don't know if he's gonna predict me to pull a double switch again here. Um, but like, I can't really switch into anything, like Zarud, even taking a Scald from this range and potentially getting burned is not good. He should just go for a safe Scald here. Uh, I guess I'll just EQ. There we go. Aura Spear knocks me out. I will go back into Zarud. And... I'll just CC. No. I don't want him to... I don't want him to go into Chandelure. I thought about it against the Zaru, but, like, I don't want him to do that, so... Like, I don't really have good switch-ins for, like, uh, a Shadow Ball. At this stage, because Zaru is not taking one, so... Um... He says it's the uh, GG. Is it? It probably is with circuitry. Hmm. I think I'll need to like crit the power whip or something in order to have a chance. Cause yeah, no switching, so I can try to do that. Power whip! E eighty nine crit would have done it. But unfortunately, uh, it's not enough. This was just not... It was really hard to try and get Charizard into a position to sweep here. And like, again, I'm thinking the Zarud was most likely Scarfed, so... Uh, I needed to get rid of that. And um, I think losing Steelix in the end, you know... That was pretty bad early, because he had those two electric types, so... I should have played more carefully. Should have just gone into Jellicent, that would have been a safe switch in at the beginning. Keep Steelix healthy for those two electric types, so... This doesn't happen late game. So, yeah. But... I'm gonna look for another match, and uh, we're gonna try and get this... Uh, Belidrum Zarazard to... Uh, a little sweep in here. But let us look for uh, another match. Got one. Looks like it could be Trick Room. Maybe. But then there's a Sharpedo that is opposite of Trick Room with speed boost. So, I don't know. Maybe he has like a little Trick Room going for the Marowak with Porygon. That's what I'm thinking when I see these two. Suicune is gonna be trouble. If I get rid of Suicune, and maybe the Porygon I need to whittle down, I could do something with Charizard. What is he gonna lead with? 
gonna leave it. I'm gonna go with Zaru, just in case he goes with the Marowak as a lead. Oh, leads with Sharpedo. I'm just really tempted to just go for... Is he gonna stay in here? I mean, I could just go into like... My U-turn. He's not gonna stay in. Trace is my leaf guard. Hmm. How do I deal with the U? I think Jellicent is the... No. I'm gonna go into Steelix because I don't want Jellicent toxic. I'm pretty sure he has toxic, so... I'm a toxic first. As he goes for Tri-Attack. Oh. I guess he was just fishing. But now this is free Stealth Rock. I guess he doesn't even have Ice Beam, so... This is perfect. He can't really touch me. Unless... Something goes wrong. But this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Now just to deal with the uh, Suicune and I can sweep with uh, Charizard. Can I knock out Necrozma from full health? Maybe I need to wear that thing down too. Hmm. Are you going to stay in or are you going to go into Suicune? He's not going to go into... He's going to teleport into Suicune. Or... Yeah, I think Suicune is the... Or I guess Sharpedo. That will do the trick. Um, but then again, unless he's special, because like I can take a waterfall or liquidation, whatever you have. Now I do have Jellicent in the back. I'm an EQ. Okay. I don't take it as well as I hoped, but I do take it. I want to go into Jellicent, but, like, it's going to stop the Life Orb recoil. Is he going to switch up moves into something, like close combat? No way. I don't think so. He's going to want to take out the Steelix. He does. It's super effective against Steelix, but I'm I, I'm thinking, like, with Steelix's defenses, I would have been able to take it, so... <laughs> that was really bad. I lose my best option against Suicune. Now I need to... I mean, I do have Toxicity, what am I saying? I don't lose that much. What is he gonna go into? I kinda just wanna go into Jellicent now. And he goes into Porygon. He traces the water absorb. That's a little bit scary. I'm gonna scout for the Toxic. As he goes for Recover. Okay, well. That's fine. I can Sludge Bomb, I guess. I mean, if he goes into Marowak, that would do a lot. And he's probably gonna teleport, now that I think about it. Maybe I should've just gone for the Overdrive or something. That might have been the move. Goes into Roserade. I know Roserade gets access to extra sensory, but would he have it? I'm gonna just Sludge Bomb, like... Yeah, Sleep Powder is the worst thing you can do. Oh, Joy Specs. That was a huge miss. Huge miss on the Sleep Powder. Now he's gonna Flare Blitz. Or do the Bone thing. Yeah, he should go for the Ghost type move. Should I just sack the... Hmm. I will sack the Steelix, because this thing hits so hard. And he has Flame Charge. Okay, well that is quite interesting. Hmm. So what do I do now? He's got the Shadow Bone, or Poltergeist. Ooh. I wish I, if I didn't have my item, then a Jellicent could actually take it on. But now I don't know. Is he gonna be max speed? I mean, Matterwack is so slow to begin with. Let's see. He is faster, but there's a bunch of recoil. Enough to a point where I can knock him out, so it's all good. 
It's all good, all good. So knock him out. Now Suicune is the only thing I need to worry about. I feel like. Try attack. I guess Necrozma could be bad. My air slash. And it's a Dragon Dance Necrozma. That is bad news bears. How do I beat it? Can I beat it? With Jellicent, maybe. But I can't really switch into it. Photon Geyser. Is the plan to Strength Sap? Or Toxic him first? I feel like I need to Strength Sap here. But he does switch out. Maybe just expecting a Scald, I don't know. Hmm, now I can spam Overdrive, or do I wanna expect him to go for Recover? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see his charts are here. Because then I, on the next turn I can I can go into, like, uh, finish the game with the Toxicity, basically. So let's just do it. I can take a try attack from this guy. Oh! He switches out. Goes into Suicune. That means I need to go for a uh, substitute because my item is not activated. But I'm gonna be faster. Salakberry activates. And he's gonna go for Skull. Let's see how much uh, plus six acrobatics without an item does. It's probably not gonna knock out a Suicune. It does! Wow! Oh my Arceus. That, that one shots a Suicune? Well, I do have 1060 attack. Acrobatics is stab, 110 base power. And uh, because I don't have an item after the select berry was eaten. Wow, I, I totally underestimated Charizard. I was like, I need to wear down the Suicune because it's so freaking bulky. And it's usually physically defensive. That's what I'm thinking this one was too. That, that was impressive. Okay, I guess I don't need to worry about physical walls. Maybe a Steelix. I don't know if... I mean, plus 6 EQ? Would that knock out a Steelix? Do I need to worry about Seismitoad? I, I think I need to worry about uh, uh, Scarf Zarude here. But if I uh, confirm whether it's Scarf or not, I think we're good. Um, what is he gonna lead with? Maybe this thing is Scarf. I feel like Jellicent is good against Cobalion and Incineroar because I do have the Culber Berry. So I'm gonna lead with Jellicent. I'm gonna try to bounce the rocks. But if it's Incineroar, you cannot fake me out. I could go for Skull to get some damage. I could Toxic for the long run. But if he's gonna go for Knock Off. Hmm. I could use the Culber Berry against. I mean, it doesn't matter. Zerud is gonna power whip anyways. Let's get some damage on this guy. With a skull. 31. It could be AV, I guess. I suppose. He's probably gonna just, um... My strength sap. Get back to full health. There we go. He goes into Seismic Toad for the thing. I'm a Magic Code. Your Stealth Rocks. Or Toxic. <laughs> that works too. But <laughs> well, what are you going to do now? Like, EQ me? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going for the magic goat. Like, yeah, EQ does nothing. <laughs> and Toxic will start racking up. I'll just keep on magic coating. He has to switch out going to Toxicity. Um, I'm not going straight into Steelix. He might predict that, but what, what is he gonna go, go for? Like, Boom Burst? I guess that would do a lot with specs, but... Like, I'm gonna just get up my uh, Stealth Rock here, so... There we go. Do I wanna EQ get some damage? He's gonna 
probably knock off again. I guess he might flare blitz. Hmm. I could just go back into Jellicent. Let's do it. Why not? He might parting shot. Goes for the Willow. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And what I can do is just go for the Strength Sap right here. There we go. Get back to full. And if he wants to start EQing, uh, that is fine. I think I should probably just uh, go into Togekiss. Let's do it. Let's play aggressive. He could just go for Toxic here. He does go for Stealth Rock, so... Magic Bounce maybe should have been the play. I actually need to defog because of Charizard, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And he does get the Toxic off, so... Maybe I should have just stick to my guns and stayed in with the Jellicent. I mean, would have paid off, definitely. 24, that's pretty good damage. Um, what is he gonna go for now? I think he might just boom burst. But can Steelix take it? I don't know. I do kind of like Stealth Rock. But at the same time... Let's just do it. Yeah, he can parting shot. And go back into Seismic Toad. <laughs> Goes into Cobalion instead. Seismitoad is his Stealth Rocker, but is this dual Stealth Rock or is this just like a Rock Polish, Sword Stains? I'm not going to my own Toxtricity. As he goes for CC. Ugh! Is this Banded? That does so much. Might be. Um. Tokis or Jellicent? I mean, Jellicent is so good. But he goes into Toxtricity. Ah. Uh, that's a really good play. That's a really good play. My strength sap here. As he goes for the overdrive. I was thinking he would overpredict and, like, but I don't know. Did he really have a reason for it? Hmm. I could go into Zarud and. No. Togekiss. I think Steelix is the play. And then probably just Earthquake. But is he gonna go into Seismic Toad? I'm gonna just EQ. He does go into Seismic Toad. I do get to wear this thing down. Is he gonna have Scald? I'm gonna go into Charizard right now on the Stealth Rock. As he goes for the knockoff. Oh no! He's got knockoff as his final move. Ah, oh, that was bad. That was a really bad timing. I'm a sub. I want to sub on the toxic. Now he's gonna go for the. And now I can't. Now I cannot go for the belly drum. All is lost. All is lost. 31. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for the EQ. Try to wear this thing down. I do survive. My acrobatics. <laughs> just in case he goes to Togekiss. I don't know. Should finish off the Incineroar. Anyways, but this was such a waste. This was a waste. Goes into a Togekiss, so I do get some damage on it, so that's at least good. Maybe I just wanna... Hmm, yeah. I think I just wanna wear him down. So maybe it's gonna help the uh, Zarud, but if I go into... Hmm, gonna... I may just want to boom burst here. Because that should hit everything. Whether it's Seismic Toad or uh, Cobalion. Or do I just want to. Yeah. I don't know. Do I want a Sludge Bomb? But then he has the Cobalion, so I think. Boom burst is the most neutral move. 
that I can go for. Makes a good move, sacks the Incineroar. This is gonna be tough to win. I totally wasted my uh, Charizard, so... But that's... that's my fault. That's my fault. Made a bad move. Now it's gonna cost me. And he's gonna go into Cobalion, which I'm thinking is choiced. Well, you're gonna Iron Hit here, if anything. Yeah. So... I think I can EQ. If anything, he's gonna go into... Seismitoad. Can EQ knock him out from this range? I hope it does. 23 after Stealth Rock. Yes, perfect. That is perfect. So now he's gonna wanna CC. Or is he gonna Iron Head? <laughs> uh, hmm. I think he might wanna predict the Togekiss. Goes for the CC, but I do live because I'm a Steelix, so... Either way, that's fine. But, of course, the root is trouble. But I do have the Togekiss, so... Which I think I'm gonna go into right now, as he switches into Zarud. So, that works out pretty well. Uh... He's gonna U-turn... I think. I can't really stop it. Hmm. Do I just want to roost, or do I want to get some damage on the Toxtricity? Limited uh, switch-ins. Hmm. But if I roost, I can probably take on the Zarud later on, so... 62 after Toxic. How low will I be? Toxtricity at 52. I think Steelix is going to have to be the sack. And I think at this point he can go for um go for a boom burst. Yeah. So Toki is at is at 47. Darkest Lariat should knock him out. Will it do enough to a Togekiss? I don't think so. If I go into my own Toxtricity, it's gonna be a speed tie. I don't think it's worth risking it at this point. But do I want a U-turn? But if I U-turn, then he's gonna get a kill. So I'm a Darkest Lariat as he goes into his own Zarud. U-turn would have been the right move, but I didn't dare. And now he can U-turn. He has the Cobalion. I'm pretty sure I can take one U-turn, but is there a point to do that? If I go into Togekiss, he's gonna go probably into Cobalion and get a kill. Mine was misplayed but worked. 47, ugh. Togekiss just barely lives. I'm gonna go into Toxtricity right now. As he has the roost. Well, that's fine. Do I just want a wall switch? Everything goes down, right? Other than Toxtricity. But I do have the Zarud. But if I stay in with this guy, he's gonna get... Yeah, I think the play is to wall switch and go into Zarud. Ooh. I don't get flinched. Wow. That's big. That's big. Cobalion should go down to Darkest Lariat after Stealth Rock. Oh, it's gonna come down to a speed tie. Don't wanna risk it. I do have a Togekiss. He's gonna U-turn. If I go into Togekiss, he's gonna go into Cobalion and get a kill. But is that the end of the game. I think I'll need to risk a speed tie anyways at some point, so might as well be now. And I do win it. <laughs> wow. I do win the speed tie. Uh... Toxicity or... Which one I do... Which one do I want to sack? I think it's gonna be Toxicity. Let him go into Cobalion. 
right? 10%. Do I just want to CC? What is he gonna do? I think he's gonna have to go for Iron Head. Yeah, he can go for Iron Head. But do I have to CC? If I go for... If I sack the Toxtricity... He's, he's gonna go for Iron Head guaranteed. So if I sack Toxtricity, then go into Zarude, go for the close combat... I think it's gonna work out. Right? And then I sack the Togekiss. Although, Wall Switch, the fact that he has Wall Switch, I don't think he's gonna have the um, Shift Gear. That's the move. Like, I, I'm just so skeptical about Darkest Lariat, even at 10%, taking out a Cobalion. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna CC, but then it's not gonna knock out Toxicity. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. But I can sack the Togekiss right here to an overdrive and then switch to the Darkest Lariat, which should, at 39, take him out. And it does. That is a G and a G. Let us look for one more match. I kind of want just Charizard to get a real sweep going. We got one at the second game, but... Um, which was impressive, taking out the Suicune, but like... Having like a... Real good, surprising setup with Charizard would be just so much fun, but we'll see. We shall see. Here we go! Final match of the day! What is going to be the lead? Maybe the Seismitoad? Maybe Metagross? Maybe Crobat? I feel like Jellicent could be good. Like, bouncing Stealth Rock from these two. Let's go with Jellicent. Let's go with good old Jellicent. Try to go for some uh, magic coating on those Stealth Rocks and uh, then just go from there, I think. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> That's the worst possible lead. Um, I'm gonna play it safe. If he goes for a Boom Burst, that's like the worst thing he can do. But that would be... Jellicent would be immune to it, so I think he's probably gonna play it safe on the first turn. Just go for the Overdrive. Yup. So it works out pretty good. I don't know if he's choice, but I, I'm kind of thinking he will be. Um, do I just want to go into Jellicent? Expecting the Seismic Toad? Or do I just want a Toxic? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna Toxic here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go into Togekiss because I want a Defog. Oh, he actually goes for the knockoff. Hm. Not the end of the world because I get Togekiss in for free. I get to go for Air Slash and... I don't get a flinch. That would have been great. That would have been so great. Um, defog in this case. Just get rid of these rocks. Goes into Crobat. That is interesting. Is he more of an offensive Crobat? Because usually Crobat only carries like Brave Bird and U-Turn and then like Taunt and Roost. I'll go into Toxicity. No, he's just gonna U-turn. Hmm. That's uh, that's an inter interesting choice. I guess it works out for him in this case. But like I was thinking, like is it going to be like nasty plot, sludge bomb, something like that? If I let him set up too much, that would be bad. But then again, air slash would still do a decent chunk, I think. Okay, goes into Metagross. Hmm. Well... Is he just gonna bait me? I'm just gonna Vault Switch. No, he's not baiting me. I think Overdrive might have actually knocked him out. Judging by the damage. What is he gonna go for? EQ? Can I just go into Zarude? He's not gonna mash. 
Yeah, he's gonna go for the EQ. Gets a crit, so that's a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, is he gonna go into Pangoro? I think he's gonna switch out. Goes into Crobat, okay. Well, here's a little U-turn crit back at ya. I could go into Steelix. Uh, I could go into Toxtricity, actually. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Metacross is at 34%. I think I'm just gonna go for Boom Burst. He's gonna U-turn into either Seismic Toad or Metagross. Both are fine. So, it's basically a free kill. There we go. Seismic Toad, goodbye! There we go. That's one bulky water gone. Something Charizard doesn't need to worry about, but... Then again, like as uh, we saw from the battle with Suicune, <laughs> bulky waters are not really trouble for this one. So, yeah. What are you going to do now? God of War, probably? Pongoro. Hmm. I do have Togekiss. But I could just hit this guy. But I do have, I do have Togekiss, so... Like now, especially that Slashman Toad is gone, like... I'm just gonna bring out that, uh... Toxicity and just spam some Electric-type moves. Like, his own Toxicity is not gonna help. So... I could wish, but I really don't need it. Air Slash... See? If I was him, I would go into Toxicity. To no way, Punkro gets... He wouldn't go for the parting shot here, right? But he would go into Toxicity. I'm just gonna air slash. He has the Iron Head and he's faster. Would have been the greatest irony if he had flinched me. But he was faster, so he was running a lot of speed with the Pangoro, but now he's gone, so... That's all good, but I don't know. Maybe against the... Maybe against this Metagross I can set up. It might actually be time right now. What if I go for Wish? No, actually, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Because then that's going to mess up the Substitute Belly Drum shenanigans. Um, I'm a Belly Drum. I don't know if it would be wise to sub first, but I'm hoping what's gonna happen is he's gonna, like, Meteor Mash me. Okay, well, or do that. Am I in range? I'm not in range. But he might actually put me in range. Please put me in range. Oh, thank good- Yes! I live with 1%! I live with 1%! Is this it? Is this it? Come on, Charizard! I'm faster than everything. I'm faster than a potentially Scarf God at War. I'm faster than a Crobat. I'm faster than a Toxicity. Come on, Charizard! Come on, Charizard! Let's go for the Acrobatics. Knock out the Crobat. One hit KO. Bring him. Bring him all. Bring him all. He's got the Blaze. He's got the Blaze. Does he have Rocky Helmet? No way. I guess I could have just gone for the... It doesn't matter. Yes! Yes, 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 belly drum. Substitute select berry Charizard is sweeping, and that will be the game. <coughs> man, man, what a match. What a thrill. What a thrill. I love this Charizard. It's, um, it's kind of risky, like even th in this situation. It might have been a damage roll. It seemed to be in my favor with the bullet punch. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely risky. You know, whenever you go for belly drum, cut your HP in half, you're taking a bit big risk, so you really gotta save the Charizard for the right moment. But Charizard was definitely impressive today. Taking out that Suicune earlier in, in one hit from almost full health. Like a physical wall like Suicune, but it is plus six after the belly drum, so... Man, 
This thing is a beast. So thanks to Teramus from my Discord server. Join in if you're interested. There's a link in the description. So thank you, Teramus, for this really fun uh, team once again. And something I, I wanted to point out, but I, I completely forgot. Like, uh, it was probably already happened like a week ago or something. Uh, but like, Light Clay has been banned from Mario and I think also from Yu So that's pretty interesting change. Uh, you can't run those like uh, hyper offense teams with uh, dual screens that are really popular. I mean, especially the Aurora Veil vale stuff. I guess that was deemed like broken. You can set up the screen in one turn and really easily just take advantage of that. But that's a really interesting change that was uh, made uh, quite uh, recently. So if you guys have some thoughts about that change, what do you what do you think? Is it is it uh, is it good or is it bad? I, I, I can understand it's a, because it, it's a popular playstyle that you can really easily like abuse. So I guess, I guess just people you know abuse the easy setup with the uh, Aurora Veil vale and uh, you know, usually with hyper offense when you have eight turns with light clay, you have eight turns of screens. You can uh, not only set up with one sweeper, if that goes down, you still have enough turns to set up with another sweeper. So, like, uh, like the benefits are just so huge uh, with the uh, Light Clay supported um, dual screen Aurora Veil vale, uh, hyper offense uh, sweeping shenanigans. So, that uh, it was banned. But it's definitely quite an interesting change. I don't think Light Clay has ever ever really been banned unless it happened in like some lower tiers in the past generations but now it's banned up to UU so from UU down to RU I think probably the lower tiers too unless they don't have like Alolan Ninetales or Aurorus or the Ice Cream Cone or whatever but anyways at this point I'm rambling so yeah Charizard was the star of the show and I couldn't be happier. 0.7%. <laughs> 2 HP. It survived with 2 HP. Man, what a beast you are, Charizard. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this is Spade. Rambling and signing out. Peace.